have already talked about minimizing the cost. So, the mathematical problem is minimize R k plus W L minimize with respect to what? Not with respect to output, output is already fixed. What I said, come, come back to this. Set of inputs. We yeah. said that these are the three things. With respect to Q. Maximize profit, how many units of output to produce? We have already decided here right now that Q naught units of output to produce. What we are interested in? How to produce this Q naught? And there are several ways to produce this Q naught. So, this is given. This is given. What we have is F of k comma l should be equal to q naught we have to produce what we need to do here is how can we minimize this we have to minimize it with respect to k and l by changing k and l we can change the cost of production but we cannot change k and l arbitrarily if we change k l n arbitrarily we won't be able to produce q naught we will we'll move, we'll move out from also we will move out from the iso quant either we will produce more or we will produce less may be the same but the chances are very little so what we have is the idea here is that produce at least q naught let's say if this is possible to produce q naught more than q naught and it minimizes your cost then you are fine you do not have any problem what you are interested in is that at least you should have q naught of output and you should and you should be able to minimize the associated cost, but we will not use this. We will talk about these consideration later. Right now, we will take it that we are here that we need to produce exactly Q naught such that R k plus W L is minimized. How can we do that? Forget maths, we will do it first graphically. Look at it here. What is R k plus W L? It's a line, straight line. Here what we have is capital and here what we have is labor. Okay? So, what we can do? We can let us say is equal to C naught. We take any where C naught is any constant. What would we get? We will get a line and what is going to be the slope of this? Minus, minus w, w by r. r. The slope is going to be minus w by r. And how much is this? C naught upon r. C naught upon r. Fine. And if you use any combination of capital and labor from this line, the cost is going to be C naught. Instead of taking C naught, what we can do? We can take C 1, where C 1 is greater than C naught, we will get another line that is parallel to the previous line. And what are these? Can I call this line as an ISO cost line? The cost is same. Okay. So, what we can do is, we can generate ISO cost map. And on the same graph, we can draw, because this will give us iso quant this gives us iso quant so we can draw iso quant here also and let's say this is the iso quant now the idea is very clear if you look at the iso cost map if you move in this direction what's happening cost is, cost is decreasing or reducing and what is our aim our aim is to produce at least Q naught amount. Some same logic, let us say this is the iso quant and this is the iso cost. Of course, these two lines are not parallel, but does not matter. Okay, this is different. Okay. Here, we cannot have cost minimization at this point. Why? Because we can, because we can move, we can move in this direction and still able to produce q naught okay at the lower cost, cost so what we will do we will keep on moving in this direction such that that one of the iso cost line becomes 
tangent to the this particular isoquan and this is the it is isoquan here. Now, it is no longer possible to reduce the cost. Why? If we move in this direction, what will happen? Cost will reduce, but we would not be able to produce Q naught amount of output. We would not be able to produce Q naught amount of output. So, this condition that we have will be violated. Okay? So, we are solving some other problem, not the, not the problem that we have discussed.